My name is Laura Ryan. I'm an Associate Medical Director with NHS 24. I love sitting in front of a patient and being able to help them or their family um, and as a GP I can do that for one person and one family at a time. Obviously I, when I bring that into NHS 24 and we're developing services to be delivered digitally or over the phone, I can bring that learning in and work with my colleagues to deliver something that can influence care for millions of people in Scotland and I have to say that gives me great satisfaction. I think being healthwise owned over winter for me, and it's what the Dr Owl campaign refers to, is about knowing what you can do to keep yourself well and where you need to go to seek the right help at the right time for your problem. It's colds, flus, sore throats, tummy upsets in particular. And to manage these over the winter, we would encourage people to have a well-stocked medicines cupboard. I mean, Christmas and New Year are times for families. These are times when people want to have fun. The last thing they want is to feel unwell with a temperature or have diarrhea and vomiting so we want to get them as well and to support them in managing themselves. Your pharmacist can involve you in what to have in your cupboard to manage you, those dependents, perhaps older people and children that you look after. So speak to your pharmacist and they will tell you what to have in your cupboard. If you are in the group of people that would benefit from a flu immunisation you should see to that, your practice should be inviting you in for that. Coming up to festive period, these are times when services are variable in their availability. So I think what you need to do there is find out in advance what repeat medications you need and to speak to your practice and order them well in advance of the festive period so that you get to the pharmacy to pick them up. If you are aware when your surgery and your pharmacy are closed in the community over the festive and new year period, you will know when to phone NHS 24. Um, or you can also log on for good help and information onto our www www.nhsinform.co.uk site that has self-help guides and a lot of information about common conditions. When you need extra help when your GP surgery is closed, if it's a life-threatening emergency, that is when you go to A&E. If it is something that your GP surgery would normally deal with and your GP is not available, then you should phone NHS 24 on 111 and we will put you in the right direction and get you the right help that you need. If it's about medicines, certainly consider speak to your pharmacist. Mm -hmm.